Hi everybody, it's nice to be meeting you all for the first time today. In these sessions we're going to be talking about all things color and we're going to try to have some fun along the way. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Dr. Hugh. Now today's topic is going to be about how to adjust your monitor settings to replicate those of your mobile phone, which in today's case is going to be my iPhone 6S. And we're going to split the topic into two parts. Uh, the first part is going to be a little bit of background on why the colors are different and in the second part we'll get into actually simulating the process for you. As we all know, mobile phones are the number one source for people to go to get their information these days. And for photographers that's even more considerable seeing as how that's where a majority of their work is going to be getting viewed with popular apps such as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and WeChat, just to name a few. However, in this situation we encounter a problem because the images that your followers are seeing on their mobile phone are going to be different from the ones that you've produced on your display at home. Now as a general user, maybe this isn't a problem, but if you're a professional photographer, it's definitely something to take into consideration. Now we're going to discuss why this happens and what we can actually do about it. The first reason is that the color performance on the monitor and the cell phone are different. Color professional monitors are designed to produce accurate color. Whereas mobile phones are made for entertainment and they also have to account for any ambient lighting that you're going to encounter. So those ones produce colors that are more appealing to the user's eye or pleasing color. Oftentimes those ones are also not color calibrated, so that's another reason why you're not going to get accurate color on your mobile device. If you're going to be sharing images that are predominantly going to be viewed on mobile devices, you're going to want to sync the two, your monitor and your mobile phone. Now, as we mentioned earlier, there are, there are differences in color between mobile phones, so you can only really set the settings on your monitor to replicate one specific type of phone at a time. The second reason is going to come from differences from phone brand to phone brand. So not only are there differences between a monitor's color and your mobile device's color, but there's also differences from phone brand to phone brand, as each brand's definition of pleasing color is going to be different. Let's compare color styles used by Samsung and Apple. Generally, you're going to get more dynamic color from the Samsung, and you're going to get truer color from the Apple. And once again, these phones are also not color calibrated, so there's also going to be additional deviations from model to model. And just as a reminder, before you do this simulation, you want to make sure that your monitor's color gamut is able to cover the color gamut of your mobile phone. So today we're going to be using the ViewSonic VP2468, which has 99% sRGB gamut coverage and can therefore cover the color gamut of just about any mobile phone on the market. Now today the phone that we're going to be simulating is the iPhone 6S. However, if you have any other requests for any other phone brands, just leave them in the comments below. Now first, it's worth noting that both the VP2468 and the iPhone 6S both use an IPS panel, which generally has better results for image quality and color. Now let's begin the simulation. Okay, now today we're going to be using the ViewSonic VP2468. Now these monitors come color calibrated at the factory before getting shipped out, which means that you can actually use them for a full six months without calibrating them straight out of the box. Now there's going to be two methods for replicating your iPhone 6's display on your monitor that we're going to talk about today. And the first one deals with calibrating the monitor, which we're going to be using our calibration kit to do. Today we're going to be using this photo here because of its bright color. As you can see, the image on your iPhone and the image on your monitor have some differences. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is calibrate your monitor. And by doing that, you're going to have to first open up your settings software. All right, now the first thing we're going to do is reset the monitor to its factory settings. And we're going to do that by going to the setup menu, heading all the way to the bottom, and selecting all recall. After you've done that, you're going to want to adjust your color gamut. And according to our readings for the iPhone, we're going to set those to a value of red, which will be 0 0.631 by 
three, three, one. In the green value, we're going to do 0 0.305 by 0 0.603. And the blue value, we're going to do 0 0.151 by 0 0.058. And that's 99% sRGB coverage. If you didn't get any of that information, don't worry. We're going to put it down in the description below. Now the next step is to adjust the brightness. So after you adjust the gamut, we're going to want to adjust the brightness to the brightest setting. So right there where it says luminance, that's going to be your brightness. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is adjust the color temperature. And we've measured over 10 iPhones to find out that most of the time they fall within the range of 7,000 to 9,000. So what we're going to do is set our white point to a value of 7840, which is going to be x 0 0.2978 and a Y value of 0 0.3105. We found that that one works quite well for the iPhone. After that, you're going to want to adjust the gamma. Uh, as we just mentioned, not every iPhone is the same. Uh, so we've found that one that works well is a gamma value between 1.8 and 2.2. So for today, we're going to use 2.2 to replicate the iPhone. After you've put in all the settings, you can hit Next and start the measurement. After completing these five steps, you will have successfully replicated your iPhone's display on your monitor. Now make sure you save your settings for the next time you need to simulate. Now we'll take a look at the second way, which is a slightly easier way to replicate the display. Now in this mode, you're going to want to find the photographer mode, and you do that by going into the setup menu, finding view mode, going down to photographer, select that, Hit photo, go into the advanced gamma, and we're going to go with a gamma value of 4, which is equal to a gamma of 2.2. After that, you're going to want to go down to true tone. Select that, and let's adjust that to a value of 86. And this is going to reflect your white point, and it's equal to a white value that we talked about earlier. And that's it. Now, as you can see, the images on the iPhone and the image on the monitor are much more consistent. And that marks the end of our session. So if you have any further comments for me, uh, leave them down below. I'd like to hear them. And make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I hope you've enjoyed this session. I'm Dr. Hugh and I'll see you next time.